The kingfish is phenomenal. Yeah, I love it. You and me. Look at that. It's like having like fried chicken, fish chicken. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in beautiful, gorgeous Alapi, Kerala, India. I mean, my boy Eben from Hi. Food and Travel TV. Hello. And, and what are we doing today? We are going to explore houseboat Alapura. Houseboat? Yeah. yeah. People call it as Alapi, but the real name is Alapura. Alapura? Ah, yeah. Okay. So we are going to explore houseboats. We are going to sail on uh, the backwaters of Kerala. Kerala's backwaters are one of the best in the world and we are going to explore and see them. We're right Let's now see. on a bridge. It's a little scary, but what they said is just try to stay in this white line. Yeah. yeah, we are going to park our car here, then we will check into the houseboat. There's so many houseboats here. How many different, like, I guess it's different companies, different sizes. Yeah. Uh, a lot of different companies, different sizes, different uh, by quality as well. Some of them are Deluxe, some are Premier, some are Luxury. Um, they are different. And are some like just restaurants or no like restaurants no are inside yeah the plain restaurants alone yeah. yeah there are a few we're staying only one night on the houseboat so instead of taking this huge goliath of a luggage i'm taking out what i need just for the night i'm putting it in my carry-on i basically just need my passport a change of clothes and that's it right so what do i need passport underwear socks more shirts. Just take two shirts in this case. All right, and that's basically it, right? Done. Let's go. I have a smaller one. I like it. It's pink. You do a single bed, lady. This is a single bedroom. One bedroom. That's a single bedroom. Yeah. Wow. So there are houseboats with even five bedrooms. Some houseboats are having. Yeah. One. Even there are houseboats with. 10 bedrooms. What? One bedroom up to 10 bedrooms. So we're basically walking along this lake, right? Yes. Is it the lake? Uh, backwater. Backwater? So backwater is a collection of lakes, rivers, uh, and canals. So it's a small canal. We are walking on the side, of, on the banks of the canal. We are going to anchor at night. We'll use a country boat to sail inside the smallest canals. And we'll stop by and we may walk in the villages. Who's land? Pleasure, nice to meet you. And here we go, entering the houseboat. I'm excited, look at this. This is the captain just like steers the boat. It's amazing. <laughs> wow. Guys, this is awesome. Let me see this. Whoa. Hello, Hello my friend. friend. Bruce Lane. Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Coconut? Dude, what is this? It's amazing. We're in Kerala, the land of coconuts. Wow, you really need this. Oh my God. So hot outside with this, you just refresh, your head cools down. And look at this place, amazing. We got like a living room here. We have four couches, a fifth one in the middle, some chairs, and behind us we have, I guess that's where we'll dine, right? Some bananas, pineapple, water, a TV. Let's go see the rest of the houseboat, follow me. First things first, let me take off my bag. Oh, this is my new home for the day. <laughs> Get the coconut, let's go see this place. Wow. Nice hallway. Again, this is a three bedroom. So what do we have here? We have one of the bedrooms. Oh, nice. Look at this. So we have a twin bed. Very nice. Got a fan. Bathroom right here. Oh, wow. This is like, dude, I'm in a hotel. This is a hotel. Bathroom. So we got a toilet, shower. So we have three rooms just like this. And I think this is like the smaller bedroom. I don't know that for sure, but we'll see. Here you have a place to wash your hands. Always wash your hands before and after every single meal, right? Okay. So this is basically the same room, just, you know, flipped. Same exact thing. Yup. Bathroom, same. Dude, this is great. I love this. This is like a traditional style hospital, right? And as you walk along this hallway, you have these huge windows. You can see right outside, more houseboats, backwaters, lily pads, beautiful setting. Third room, exactly the same as the others, so no need to show it, right? And over here, we have the kitchen. So this is where we're gonna cook all the meals. We're gonna catch some fish, we're gonna cook it right here, make some curries, fish curry, duck curry, 
<laughs> Thanks, Evan. Right, and then over here, we have the tail end of the boat. Oh, from here we can just relax, watch the sunset. Dude, this is beautiful. Look at this. My God, this is like what you think about when you think about India. Backwaters. And this, one thing Evan was telling me is this is what, like basically the Venice of the East. People used to come in here and do the trading. And you told me it's called black gold. The foreigners, they used to come here in Kerala to, to buy black gold. Black golds are black purpose. So uh, we are traveling to Thakuri tomorrow. So Thakuri is, uh, not Thakuri, Idiki. Idiki district is a paradise for spices. So all the spices, pepper, cardamom, cinnamon, all these things used to come from Idiki to Alepi and from Alepi to the, to the rest of the world. Guys, let's go explore the backwaters of Alapi. I am so excited. The one thing I needed to do that I said, I'm going to Kerala because I want to get on a houseboat. I want to explore the backwaters. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. The one thing you have to do when you come here to this state is this. Look at this. This entire place is known as Kutunad. Kutunad is a region in Kerala which has plenty of paddy fields, backwaters, and it's really beautiful. Coconut grows, beautiful place. And it has a small portion from Alapi and another small portion from Kotem, two districts. Awesome. And we are going through uh, some of these paddy fields also in the afternoon, late afternoon. Uh, now we will go to a temple, a Buddha temple, which is known as Karimadi. Karimadi, Karimadi Kutan, right? Karimadi Kutan. That is the uh, name of Buddha statue there. This is just beautiful. I love it, man. Look at this. On the water, very peaceful. You feel the birds chirping. You see, I mean, there's houseboats, but you slowly, you know, get out of it. This is like the port of entry, right? You're just flying on the I know, I know. Oh my God. <laughs> the soundtrack of India, the horn. <laughs> Even here, you need a horn. Yeah, yeah because there are plenty of houseboats. There are 800 registered houseboats. 800 here. registered houseboats yeah. here? Yeah. What? And uh, more than that, actually. Registered are 800. Oh my God, that's a lot. That's a lot. A lot. My man here. The chef just brought me some tender coconut, so he took the flesh out of the coconut. Oh, dude, this is one of my favorite things. Mmm. Mmm. Dude, it's slimy, refreshing. Mmm. I love it. I love it. Every time you eat coconut here in Corona, ask them for the flesh to do it for free. Mm. You're gonna become my, my new brother here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. So we have about an hour before we get to the temple and the chef is cooking up a storm, our lunch. It looks amazing. Whoa, fish fry. What is it, fish fry? Yeah. Hey Captain, can I take over the wheel? <laughs> Oh, this is great. Woo! Let's turn a little bit. How much do you have to turn? If you turn too much, we will go to <laughs> Just like go straight that way. <laughs> <laughs> I actually uh, have my boating license, so I'm good. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, he's got to play a little bit with it, right? Keep it straight. Anyway, it won't uh, move very fast. How fast are we going? Does he know? Like, what's the speed on this? 25 knots? Yeah. Okay, so I mean, we're cruising. Yeah. Nice. As you can see, beautiful rice paddy fields over here, coconut trees over here. We actually have a hotel, so if you want, so you can also stay in hotels here. They have that experience as well. And here we go, yeah, he's yeah, yeah. saying go left, go left. <laughs> Don't run into this. Look at this. <laughs> We're gonna run into this grass. Is that, no, it's just grass, right? It's not an island. Yeah. Wow. And in terms of what you can see in, in wildlife here, there's a lot of fish here, there's crabs here, there's shrimp, because this is brackish water. The Arabian Sea is right beyond the palm trees over there, you know? We have commodores, so lots of bird life here. What else are you seeing? You have otters as well. Pretty amazing. No turtles though, right? No turtles? No. The turtles can be there, but we yeah. won't, we won't you, see you them. You won't see them? Yeah, it's not like the Amazon, right? They're everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright, take over my man. I feel like I'm doing a bad job here. <laughs> Guys, look at this. Yeah. What a massive feast. David, let me serve you. Please, thank you. Wow. I am beyond excited. I'm looking outside, seeing the beautiful scenery, palm trees, waterways. 
This guy just served me a mountain of rice. Should <laughs> I stop here? Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> I'll get more, don't worry. It's, we have a lot of rice there. So what do we have? This is sambar. Sambar uh, in India, we have sambar, especially South India. Mm -hmm. But different places, different styles of making. Exactly. Some people add a bit of tamarind, mostly people add tamarind. And it's uh, basically tomato, yeah. it's like a tomato soup with potatoes, vegetables. Yes. And you mix it usually with this or in the And lentils. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And some people add leaves, some may not. Okay. This is Kerala's special. Wow. We call it as a meal, mixed vegetable, we can say that. In mixed here. vegetables. Yeah. Wow, it looks amazing. It actually has like consistency of like had eggs in between, like matching yeah. together. Because we use uh, curd, okay. yogurt, to cook it. Okay, okay. Also coconut, grated coconut. Oh my god, coconut and everything here. Yeah, in Kerala we have coconut throughout. It's amazing. See, this is uh, cabbage, again with coconut and chilies, green chilies on it. Wow, so it looks like a coleslaw with green chilies but diced up even thinner than a regular coleslaw, but no mayo, it's like a pure coleslaw. That looks phenomenal. I can eat that whole plate. <laughs> can, I, can I serve more? Serve it, let's okay? keep going. Yeah, yeah, the whole thing, man. This is the, the Indian tally, backwater way. This is, uh, we call it as pachari, okay. but it's a curry which is made with yogurt and ashka. Pachari, pachari. Even in Kerala we have kichuri, kichuri is a different one. And this is the chicken, chicken curry. Wow, yeah, yeah, we got it right there. Yeah. Wow. Chicken curry. Looks so fresh. Aroma. You have no idea the mix of okay. scents, like, it's just coming out, you know? And we have wow. beans. Oh, green beans. beans? Like long beans, right? Yeah, long beans. Long beans, long beans with carrots I don't know. in French there. Beans, it is long beans, yeah. Long beans. Long beans and carrots with curry leaves. And so this one we should take after having a course with samba. Okay. Once samba course finished, we will add this. We call it as uh, pulisiri. Pulisiri is made again with yogurt. Okay, let's say a doll. Not doll. Not, not doll, but it looks like it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the color. Just pull the color. And what do we have here? Yeah. Let me come to the other side. No problem. Lemon. Lemon pickle. Oh, lemon pickle. You guys love pickles yes, down here. Very much. Everybody is eating. Like, every time I eat, we got pickles. Pickles, spices, sorry. No, don't worry. And we also do have some salad. Okay. So it's like. Pepper. It's a simple salad. Yeah. Onions, the cucumber, cucumber. carrots. Tomato. Tomatoes and a bit of pepper. Fabulous. That's it. And That's you it. have, this is pearl spot. This is very special in coconut region. Okay. Pearl spot fish and this is kingfish. So kingfish is a, is a, like Arabian sea fish and yeah. this is a freshwater fish. Freshwater fish. All right, Evan, how do we start this? So we should start with samba. We'll mix samba with rice. Okay. And, uh, ah, we have something else. We have puppet. Cheta. A puppet. Cheta. Pappadam, pappadam deru. We have papadam, we should, you should we call it, it as papadam in Malayalam. I know. So what we have to do, we have to crush it. Okay. That sound itself is so <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, perfect. Yeah, sorry, I put it down on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Great. So just grab it, crunch on top. Perfect. So, so what you have to do, not fully, oh. just break it like this. Okay. And put it forward. You can, you can crush completely also. Depends upon you. Yeah, I actually like the crunch, yeah. you know? And it really like, um, it binds the rice together. You also, know? it has light salt. No, okay. it's salty. So and you can it. mix, if you need, you can mix this mixed vegetable curry, a bit of this. Okay. You, try, you just take this curry like this and okay. you try it. Mm. You get that flavor of your gut. Mm -hmm. As well as uh, coconut oil. The coconut. It's all are put in coconut. 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 So good. <laughs> I mean, that's that's what's the most unique thing about this place. Yeah. Is the coconut. It's like it binds really well with all the flavors. You know, throughout Kerala. Oh my God. So you can mix it with mm -hmm. rice, and you can take a handful of rice. Let's like go. This. Mm. Mm. 
Mm. Wow, the curd is delicious. Mm. Curd. We can also add these beans. See, even in the beans, you can see this. These are coconut pieces. Oh wow! So, so take a coconut bit. piece and add some beans okay, and right carrots there. together. Not okay. Either inside rice or just like this. Or just long. Mm. Man, these flavors. They're so light too. Not too spicy. Yeah. Like not too much. It's not overbearing. You know? No, it's not. I love long beans. Mm -hmm. The veg mm. in India. Mm. Mm. They travel from south of India to north of India. Different vegetarian. Ah, different food. Different food. Altogether different. Food. Every 50 kilometers. Yeah. <laughs> different people, different language, different food, right? Dressing style. Uh, festivals are different. Exactly. Completely different. Completely different. So this one's that I want, really want to try. Mm. That is cabbage with coconut as well as. So I'll try it alone, right? Yeah. It's like finely grated. You yes, know? yes. Wow. I ask you to try separately because you will get that unique taste. Yeah. If you mix with rice, it's a blend of everything. Yeah. Sometimes I like to keep the rice a little low just because you get so full, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. Now you should try fish. Fish? Okay. So which one? That one? Yeah. The pearl? The pearl spot. Let's try for the pearl spot. Okay. Right. One second. Let me click my fingers. Take your time. No other option. Hey man. That's, that's my favorite part about India. <laughs> okay. Mm. Right. So, you can just break a bit of flesh. Ah, pearl spot. It has plenty of thorns, bonds. So be careful. So yeah, I see them. Take from the middle, right from the middle, so you won't get that much bones. Okay, You're right there. Pearl spot has soft flesh, mm -hmm. and in some season it will have muddy taste. Muddy taste? Yeah, I don't think it is now. Yeah, I mean it's 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 a very light fish. Mm. You know, the thing is that this is a freshwater fish, very different taste. Mm. It's completely different from anything else that I have tried. Oh yeah? It tastes like almost, I'd say almost like a flounder that has been fried. But because flounder has this similar type of body. Yeah, yeah. Also, uh, if you look at the fish, it is much similar to tilapia. Okay. Yeah, but By don't, the shape. don't eat tilapia. <laughs> <laughs> What a meal. <coughs> now you can go ahead with whatever you love to eat. Whatever I like to eat. <laughs> okay. I think the one thing I want to try is the, the chicken, right? Mm. The chicken right here. Go in and break up some of the body. There's some flesh. Be careful with the chicken, there is bones as well. Yeah. So get some of that. Mmm. So one thing I love about the chicken here in India is that usually it's like extremely organic. You know, yeah. it's raised in this person's house, mm -hmm. it goes out, gets butchered, and you eat it the same day, no frozen. But you said there's also other boiled chicken. Yeah, there are. Yeah, I've seen boiled chicken in a lot of these, you know, produce markets. Mm -hmm. A lot of them. Here, here too there are farms, but if you get country chicken, it's the best. Country chicken? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, and this one? That's sour. You just Very mix sour. with rice and you can try. Mm hmm. Very sour. It's almost like a yogurt. Mm. Right? Yeah, it's yogurt. It's made with yogurt. Oh, it's made with yogurt. Mm. Oh, okay, sorry, I forgot what it was. <laughs> <laughs> yogurt, ashgod, pineapples. Mm. Pineapple. Yeah. That's like the, I mean, the one thing we're missing. The the pickles. Mmm. Again, salt. Is that mango or no lemon? Lemon. Yeah. Because the, the body was like a almost felt like so a, tender. So tender. Yeah, because it was pickled maybe for a month or so. Okay. So it will melt. Yeah. Almost yeah. Will melt. Because 
I mean, obviously the taste is lemon, mm -hmm. but I thought it was just a pickle. Yeah. You know? Mmm. What a meal, man. What a meal. And you can try kingfish. Mm -hmm. You can add on with puppet. Go ahead. Go nuts here. Huh? You can go wild. Go wild. Mmm. <laughs> the kingfish is phenomenal. Yeah, I love it. Even me. Look at that. It's like having like fried chicken. Fish chicken. <laughs> Not fried chicken. Like fish sticks, you know? Yeah. Mmm. No bones. Only the, the spine. Mm. Oh man. So you're done with samba, you should try pulisieri. Pulisieri. This is known as pulisieri. Okay. Once again, made from yogurt. Okay. Shall I add a little more? Or it will be water. I think it's good, I think it's yeah. good. A bit too watery, right? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's again sour. Am I right? And it's pineapple as well. Yeah. People make different styles, different ways. Mm -hmm. The thing is that once you get to this point, all the flavors start blending. <laughs> they really do. Like I don't know if the, the chutney, oh sorry, I don't know if the pickle fell in, mm -hmm. chicken's in there. Yeah, I have a bunch so of chicken here. Just you like, have almost mixed everything. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, this one's very moist. It's like dripping down my yeah. chin. At the end, it's good to have some of pineapple pigeons, pancheris. Yeah. Mm. The taste of pineapple with your gut and uh, ash curd, super. We'll visit the temple here. We stopped by the temple now. We'll go visit the temple, then come back and enjoy the dessert. We have a limited time, so we have to go. Awesome. Okay, so we're parking. Is it dark? Woo! Let's do this. It's a temple. Buddhist temple, right? Yeah, Buddhist temple. The only way I know that is because of the, the, the pagoda. <laughs> the pagoda. <laughs> Actually, uh, the name is Karimadi Kutan. Buddha image. You can see that it's written here. Buddha image. In this Buddhist temple, you can see one really important thing. It's a Buddha from the 9th to 14th century. They don't have an exact date because they found it in the area nearby. But it's really unique because it's black, granite, and it's cut in half. Look at this thing. I've never seen a Buddha statue like this. I don't even know what position he's in. He has his arm like down, right? Yeah. But the other arm, we have no idea. So, yeah, it's supposed to be like this, but okay. the other side is cut off. So it's a white pagoda in this super, super hot environment. <laughs> <laughs> because humid, but it's now around 130. It's really hot. Yeah. I, I, I really think right now it's like 42 degrees. Because the no, humidity is hitting. It's because of humidity. Maybe yeah. around 30 degrees, 32 degrees, I think. Oh, it's warm, man. <laughs> is it? I don't know. I'm from Miami, man. I know the heat. Uh, I'm from Miami. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how much it can be here? Miami? Uh, no, here, now. <sighs> Maybe 30, 32. At least. I think the humidity is the yeah. thing. Because yeah, it's not dry at all. All right. Dessert time. Yeah, dessert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You're going to jump like that? Uh, you got it? You got it? Careful. Better. Yeah, better pull this guy, huh? Let's pull him. Ah, yeah, no. I, like this is. No. Woo. You got it, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> so David, let's have the desserts. Piesum. And here we have the piesum. Piesum, so it should be sweet. It's like a noodle porridge. Mm. Oh wow, super sweet. Mm. Oh, I'm loving it. It's also some like tiny grain in here. What else is in here? Mm. Look at this. Like a, I think it's a nut. Mm, raisin. Oh wow. Basically, this is like a noodley pudding, I guess. Sometimes hot, sometimes cold. Right now it's cold because we left it there for like 30 minutes. Mm. Really good. It's a great way to combat the heat. You have very spicy food before. It is really nice as like a palate cleanser, you know? Mm. And yeah, guys, that is our adventure today. We had an incredible experience. I gave you an entire tour of this houseboat. Love it. Three bedroom houseboat. You got a kitchen in the back. You can see the captain right here. We had an amazing feast cruising along the backwaters here in Alapali. Alapada. Alapura. 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 So, 
cruising along the backwaters of Alapuda. And yeah, just a great experience. I highly recommend doing this when you come to Kerala or when you come into India, definitely add this place to your list. You will love it. And guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content and subscribe to my boys channel. Food and travel and visit us always. Be with us. Peace. Thank you.